it is a common saying that you might have heard of half the money i spend on marketing is wasted the problem is i don't know which half there are so many strategies one can use for marketing and lead generation and we sometimes get overwhelmed or confused about what will really work for me all strategies work if done in a right way but in this video i'm going to compare various strategies used typically by engineering projects or manufacturing businesses to make it easier to choose the right ones to start with i have seen epc businesses getting inquiries through one word of mouth and two cold calls three exhibitions four b2b marketplaces like india mart trade india five social media marketing now these are the major ones now let's start comparing these strategies on five different parameters the parameters that i have considered are one is the quantity of leads second is the quality of leads third is consistency fourth is the cost of lead and five is scalability now let's start with first word of mouth this is the major source of inquiries for most businesses you get inquiries from repeat customers or their references or your own contacts i don't consider this as a strategy strategy you anyways get these leads without specifically doing anything except maybe keeping your customers happy now let's compare let's evaluate quantity is poor it is not enough for your growth aspirations quality is usually very good consistency is poor we don't know who will refer who and when it's not in your control cost per lead is zero that's excellent but scalability is worst you cannot scale up this strategy at all now let's look at number 2 that is cold calls quantity of leads is poor because either there is a part time activity for sales people or because the number of visits or calls that can be made every day quality is good if you are calling the right prospects consistency is poor it's good only when you have a dedicated lead generation person cost per lead is high that is poor if you consider salaries and visit expenses and scalability is poor since you cannot hire a big team to generate leads now third strategy exhibitions and trade shows quantity of leads here is poor you get a sudden volume during those 4 5 days but if you average it out over a period of year then the quantity is poor quality of leads is good because these are industry focused exhibitions consistency again is worst you cannot participate in exhibitions every month cost per lead is worst cost of participating in exhibitions is usually very high considering the booth rate the stall design travel and transportation of people and equipment scalability again is worst because the because of the cost involved and also there are only specific exhibitions in a year which can probably give you the relevant leads now fourth one is b2b marketplaces like india mart trade india exporters india this is one of the most popular ways to get leads there are no much efforts required at your end quantity of leads is usually excellent but the quality is poor usually very small percentage of total inquiries are relevant and genuine consistency is again excellent you keep getting inquiries every day cost per lead is usually high that is average if you consider quality leads versus the subscription cost i have seen that as you go with the higher packages the cost per lead also goes up so scalability is poor there is little you can do about in this strategy to increase your leads from the same subscription now fifth is social media marketing 
So many of us choose this strategy because we feel we must be there on social media. So it is more about being visible rather than getting inquiries directly from social media posts. Question is, are you getting leads from social media? And usually the answer is no, unless your agency is really good and you have a hefty marketing budget. So quantity is worst, quality is poor, consistency is average, cost per lead is high, that is worst. Scalability is also poor because you have limited budgets and cost per lead is really high. In fact, I'll be sharing a separate video on social media marketing to discuss this strategy in little more details very soon. I would like you to share your experiences and thoughts on, on this comparison. And these are my observations. In your case, you may have different experiences. Your observations and other businesses may benefit because of your sharing. Now it is up to us to decide what makes more sense for you. Let me clarify again, I'm not against any of the strategy. Any strategy that gives us inquiries is good. You can continue with the ones which are productive. Also, eventually you may want to explore all these strategies to scale up. That is once you have built the marketing budgets and you can adopt everything. However, I suggest to go in for organic strategies which score very well on all these parameters. For B2B engineering businesses, I strongly recommend to go with email marketing and LinkedIn to start with. I am personally very confident about these two strategies because I have worked a lot on them. I have used it for our own business and also implemented the same with my clients and they work very well. If I have to audit these two strategies, that is LinkedIn and email marketing on the same parameters, I would say quantity is excellent once these, strateg uh, once these strategies are really established properly. Quality is excellent because you are choosing your audience. Consistency is excellent because you can run the email campaigns and LinkedIn post on a weekly or a daily basis. Cost per lead is really low, very low, excellent because both are almost free. And scalability is excellent again because you can add database and intensity and the strategy starts giving you more leads.